eat something spicy, bitch. What's up with it, everybody? It's your boy, RDR, and welcome back to RDR Food Reviews. And today, as you see at the bottom of the screen, obviously, as you can tell, your boy, RDR, is doing a collaboration with my good girl, Angelina Spicy. Angelina Spicy, that's right. We're doing a collaboration on, as you see, Chipotle. Okay, so we're doing the Chipotle mukbang today. First of all, I got to say off the rip, big, huge, mega fan of Angelina Spicy. She's a hardworking, consistent YouTuber that's putting her dues here, and she's doing excellent here on YouTube. And I'm so glad and humbly privileged to be doing this collaboration with her. And in honor of her, of course, sometime in this video, I'm going to take a big bite out of this jalapeno, you know what I'm saying? And uh, don't forget, I want you guys to go over to Angelina Spicy. Give her more love than you ever gave me. Her description of her channel and her Chipotle Mubane will be at the bottom of this video. And subscribe and give all the likes in the world. And I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed when you see her content. All right. So uh, thank you again, Angelina Spicy, for this collaboration. And uh, let's get it in. And obviously, you know, your boy RDR is going to be doing a story time mukbang. You feel me? And so what I got here is some Delectables. I didn't feel like getting a burrito from Chipotle. Uh, so I got some barbacoa tacos right here. I got a chicken burrito bowl right here. And if I got some more, if I need more crunch, I got some Chipotle chips over here. I can't see it, but it's over here. And to dip it in, I got some of that queso. You feel me? Already, so let me go ahead and see if I can get a quick thumbnail in this bitch. Let me get that bad. You love me, but you don't know who I am. <laughs> So let's get right into this, man. So today's story time mukbang is going to be pretty much the plum heist. You feel me? Now we're going to go backwards, okay? We're going to go far back. This is the summer of my sixth grade year. You know what I'm saying? Going into my sixth grade year. You feel me? And so this takes place where your boys... What the hell is this phone at? Your boy RDR... Uh, your boy RDR and Archie... And stand, we will all stand the night at my boy Philip house. You feel me? So we're staying the night at Phillips, and um, it was on a weekend. Get a good bite of this shit right now. Hold up. Mm. It's been a long time since I've been to Chipotle. A matter of fact, Chipotle was my very, very first um video so y'all go check that out or not so that's how long it's been it's been about a year since i've been to chipotle we're in the spit anyway we were staying the night at my boy phillips house you know what i'm saying and so we stand the night over there and we was doing what young niggas was doing playing on the damn game you feel me now philip he has good money you feel me my nigga has shillings you know what i'm saying family come for shillings So we had all the games, all the good shit. Look at that, nigga. Mm. Anyway, so we was on that Madden. Mainly it was me, Stan, and this nigga Arch. No, me, Stan, and Philip. Because this nigga Archie was sorry in Madden. And shit, this boy, Philip, was a motherfucking Madden god. You feel me? And the thing we couldn't stand the most is when we playing this nigga in Madden. This nigga here had a motherfucking laugh more unique than mine that'll make you feel low than a bitch. <laughs> I didn't expect. All right, here we go. I don't know how you do this every goddamn video. It's nasty in a bitch, but it's heating up. Anyway. Oh, yeah, that nigga used to make us look like peons. You know what I'm saying? That nigga was a mad guy. So, anyway, we chilling, right? Playing the game. This nigga Archie over there watching. My nigga, my nigga Philip brother <clears throat> comes through the room. That boy Smitty. Shout out to my nigga Smitty. Now, Smitty, this nigga here, 
was the Chris Brown, the old Marion, goddamn me, shit, Keith Sweat of the family. This nigga here pulling bad bitches, you feel me? That nigga was good looking. And that nigga Smitty always had hoes coming over. Now, Smitty was older than us, so he was out of the phase. He wasn't in no goosing territory. That nigga was sticking, nigga. And he all we always look forward to go to Philip House because we always couldn't wait to see what new broad was fit to get sacrificed over there. <laughs> so anyway, it was this girl that we knew. Let's just call her Rebecca from school. Like we knew her because you know what I'm saying? Her daddy was a coach. So anyway, she was my nigga's next door neighbor. And she come over with this nigga and Smitty, and they come through the room, right? We say, hey, what's going on, Smitty? What's going on? Hey, what's going on, Rebecca? Hey, guys. Them niggas walking through the room and shit. We already knew. Me and that nigga Archie look like, yeah, that nigga about to fuck the shit out of her. <laughs> so anyway, me and this nigga Philip playing the game and shit, right? Not even moments later, Cuddy. My nigga Smitty was in that bitch crucifying this bitch. He was in the hollering like, ah, oh God, Jesus Christ. This nigga Smitty was murdering her. You know what I'm saying? And these two perverted ass niggas, these two perverted ass niggas, Archie and Stan, was over against the wall listening to this shit. Like, that nigga's in. Archie's like, fuck, he's killing her. You know what I'm saying? Nigga was over here listening hard. Me and this nigga feel like, nigga, y'all get the fuck with act like you ain't never heard no nigga smashing. Feel me? Anyway, that went on and on. <clears throat> we just played the game all night. Like, damn, these niggas was like, one, like, man, I been, I mean, I wonder how long they gonna keep going. This nigga was in that business for a good grip. So we played the game until we pass out. Wake up. In the morning, that nigga Smitty, that nigga Smitty get up and he walked through the room. We didn't even know when the old girl left, but she was gone. He gets up and leave. <clears throat> but it was waking us up, so we get up and we start playing the game. Then... We hear a knock at the door, Cuddy. So me and this nigga Phillip, we gonna see who it is while these two niggas in here fucking around on the game, right? Oh God, Cuddy. Uh, motherfucking Desiree. And her cousin, Bree. Nigga. She say, where's Smitty at? The nigga Phillip said, he gone to, he gone to uh, his little, um, his basketball tournament thing or whatever on the weekend. But she was like, um, oh, it's just y'all two here? It's like, no, nah, it's me, Archie, Rob, and uh, Stan. She's like, where your mom and them? Like, they gone. Your stepdaddy gone too? He's like, yeah. She said, you want a goose? Nigga, we was like, hell yeah, nigga, we want a goose, right? This bitch, Bree, <clears throat> this bitch, Bree had the audacity, Cuddy. To be like, uh -uh, I don't want to goose him. I don't want to goose him. You can goose him. I'm going to goose him. She was talking about she didn't want to goose me. But she over here want to goose this nigga Philip. Nigga, in my head, I'm like, bitch, like, you got a choice. Bitch, you come over here to get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, like, you got a choice. You throw it off. So anyway, fuck it. Desiree was like, I don't care. She said, yeah, I'm, I'll goose him and then... Then them other niggas, I guess they heard the word goose from around the room and shit. So he said, Stan, come with me. And Stan and Bree and them, they went to the living room, nigga, the goose. Me and that nigga Archie, he had no awareness was going on. I'm like, come on, nigga, we for the goose, Desiree. That nigga was like, yeah, nigga, he was crunk. So nigga, tell me how come instead of the bed, me and this nigga Archie took Desiree to this nigga Philip closet. Cuddy, we get in that closet. 
Nigga, we was in that bitch ping ponging at home. <laughs> Nigga, we was in there teleballing that pussy. Nigga, goosing the shit out of her, Cuddy. Dry humping if you late to the game, if you don't know what goosing is. Because we were some young niggas, all right? We wasn't sticking yet. We wasn't at the, 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 the grade of my nigga Smitty, feel me? So we was in that bitch dry humping in the closet. Nigga, they should know why we in that bitch. Philip! Philip! Come out here and get your friends to come get these groceries. And who goddamn bikes is in the driveway? Nigga, we was like, oh shit. So anyway, nigga, we dash out there the whole nigga. I'm, we dashing out to go out there and meet this nigga Vince and his stepfather to help get the groceries in the house. And that nigga was like, who are you? Talking to these girls like, Oh, we came over here to see him. Smitty was here, but he's not. This and that. He's like, well, I'm Phil, you know, I can't even have all these damn kids in my house. Da, 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 da. Go help get the groceries. So, nigga, we go out there and go help that nigga and his mama to get his groceries in the house. And them hoes waiting outside the road, nigga. Nigga, motherfucker, dick was hard in the bitch after goose and motherfucker does right, nigga. Because she, boy, like I said, notorious. She knew exactly how to get a nigga ready. I got a nigga spare. So, after we put the groceries in the crib, we go outside and meet up with the girl. <laughs> so, we was like, hey, what y'all want to do? Niggas was like, hey, nigga, Stan was like, hey, nigga, want to goose again and shit. I know, we ain't got nowhere to go. I'm like, fuck it. Desiree come up and was like, move, I got cravings and some plums. Because we was like, already. I said, let's go get some, let's go to... Let's go to Silver City and go get some plums and shit. Because my nigga Phil stayed way on the other side of town. She's like, all right. I was like, yeah, well, let's let's go to Mr. P house instead of going to Miss Kelly. R.I.P. to Miss Kelly. Uh, because Miss Kelly, Miss Kelly had a whole bunch of green ass plums. Now this nigga, Mr. P, this nigga had a gold mine of plum, nigga. All all red, everything. You feel me? I know what's better. But anyway, so we go ahead and get across town, right? Now, this nigga, Mr. Pete, he said across the street from the projects, right? And this nigga here, he, his wife was gone, and he ain't had nothing left in this world but that motherfucking plum tree. And he was guarding that bitch like the eye motherfucking Mordor. That nigga was watching that hoe, cutting. Desiree and Bree thought this nigga was playing You don't understand. This nigga here is a mean-ass Grinch nigga. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas try to walk over there and get some plums for that nigga tree. And niggas say, hey, get out with my goddamn tree before I call the laws on y'all. Get out my goddamn tree. Them bitches were only able to get fucking five plums, nigga. So we right back across the street with these hoes coming to us. Y'all got us five plums, nigga. Them hoes was green as motherfuckers. Them niggas was green in the fucking uh, traffic light. So them bitches over there eating the fucking plums and shit, nigga. And we didn't eat them hoes because we knew them hoes were sour and we didn't like them bitches. We outside fucking just right now, them house and shit. Them motherfuckers putting salt and shit on plums and shit. I'm like, damn, that shit nasty. So we was thinking, like, nigga, how the fuck we gonna go over here and get these plums, nigga? This nigga guarding this bitch with his life. <sighs> so anyway, that nigga Phillip. He came on a good plan, like, nigga, we're going to hop over that nigga fence and get them hoes, Cuddy. And see, where that nigga lived at, right next to it was the fucking trail where motherfucking Asia and uh, her sister threw them rocks at me when, them, when Asia stole my bike and she beat the shit out of me, you feel me? So, pretty much, like, this is the trail right here, and this is that nigga house, but where the trail is, there's a fucking fence in between. So, that nigga was like, all right, we're going to act like we're going to the trail, because he don't own that shit. We're gonna do is act like we're going to the trail and then we're gonna sneak over because that nigga on the front porch and we're gonna go to the side of the house and get that bitch. We go, <clears throat> we're gonna get as much as we can. Okay. Me and this nigga, we walk over there, stand and like an Archie, they was just acting like, or they was just, you know, just there to just be there while that nigga watching, listen to the radio, bitch ass nigga. So me and that nigga hop over the fence. That nigga, man, my nigga Archie, not my nigga Archie, but my nigga, uh, my nigga Philip, this nigga here was like a goddamn monkey. 
This nigga was climbing all up in that hole, shaking the shit up the tray like that bitch all the money. Nigga had my shirt like this, nigga, dropping them hoes out. Getting as many as I fucking could and shit. And nigga, we vamped out that hole, Cuddy. We was like, ooh, nigga, we done ran a lick on this nigga. <laughs> and then <laughs> that nigga seen us come out the trail. Hey, nigga said, you better not be around my motherfucking tree. Nigga, we was like, fuck you, bitch, we'll be back. Nigga didn't even know we ran a hella lick on that fuck nigga. So we crunk, Cuddy. We don't. We don't fucking hit a lick on this nigga. So we. Excuse me, that motherfucker Hollow had a nigga like, ugh, get over here. So we go over there across the street to the school where the slab was at, because we could see from the road everybody at the slab playing basketball and shit. <laughs> So anyway, we go over there, we crunk, nigga. We just can't wait to tell everybody, nigga, look, we got all, we got plums. You feel me? We're gonna walk over there, my brother over there. So we was like, hey, Cuddy, we got some plums and shit. The nigga's like, where y'all get them plums at, nigga, from Mr. P? We stole them hoes from that nigga tree. Nigga, everybody start coming over there to a nigga to a nigga shirt, like start picking shit out. And we was like, hey, hey, nigga, we gotta get ours too. And then my brother, he was like, this motherfucker brother, you know, I'm gonna get my food, I'm gonna get me some red ones. Now, remember Tariq and Tyrone, my tw the, the twins that live next to us? <sighs> them niggas, them niggas was like being aggressive, nigga, like trying to jack motherfucking plums out of nigga's shirt. And my brother, he was getting like five of them hoes. This nigga... Tariq pushed my brother motherfucking hand out my shirt. And my brother said, bitch, don't you ever push me again. And so that nigga pushed him. And that nigga, uh, Tyrone was like, bitch, you better not ever push my brother again, nigga. Them niggas was known for jumping niggas. And Cuddy, I was in fucking shock. Like, nigga, I was scared in the bitch, nigga. I was on some scary nigga shit. I bagged up, nigga, because, nigga, them niggas were notorious for jumping niggas. My brother was on some nigga on some fucking Kona and shit. Like, nigga, what you niggas want to do? <sighs> them niggas did the old school, Cuddy. Niggas put a stick, and I tell, I know, I'm always on some pussy nigga shit. My brother had a stick on his shoulder, and, and he was for the fight one. He was thinking it was Tyree. He was for the fight one on one, cause them niggas was like, nah, you niggas ain't for the jump in. But knowing them niggas, it happened. So my brother knocked the stick off that nigga uh, shoulder, and, <coughs> and he was well at that nigga. And of course. Goddamn backup twin jumped this bitch ass in there, nigga. And again, I was fucking scared, nigga. I was like, damn, nigga, I can't jump. I'm scared these niggas gonna whoop me. You know what I'm saying? Cut it. Oh, God. My brother became a legend that fucking day. He worked the goddamn shit out them boys. <laughs> he beat the fuck out the twins, nigga. I'm talking about he had them niggas nose bleeding and everything. He beat the fuck out them niggas all bad. Them niggas ran down the street <laughs> and told this old lady that nigga that them niggas got drunk, cut him. <coughs> drunk, nigga, at the co at the fucking slab. Man, we course we vamped at that hoe, cause she come up here and talk some shit, nigga. We got at that hoe. Them niggas was fighting over some plums, nigga. That shit wild in a bitch. <laughs> Nigga, I was like, dang. I had a whole new side respect for my brother. We get home, this nigga sit here and tell and snitch to my stepfather and tell that nigga that I didn't help that nigga fight. Man, my stepfather jumped all over my ass, Cuddy. Paul. He was all over me. Nigga, I come in there and the fight. I told that nigga because I was scared. <laughs> nigga, I was. Them niggas wasn't finna give me an L. He lucky, nigga. God was watching over him, nigga, because he should have low-key got his ass hauled out. <laughs> oh, God, nigga, for real. But that nigga was a legend, for real, for washing them niggas. Crazy shit with a nigga. Crazy shit with fucking plums and dudes and some niggas, man. Fruits of the ghetto. Ah, refreshing. Oh, God damn. Oh, 
going for God. Father, thank you for the food that I just had. I'm sorry, Father, that I forgot to say this prayer. I ask for your forgiveness. I pray, Father, that you watch over those that go hungry tonight. And I pray that you please find them something to eat. And your holy grace is mine in my prayer. Amen. I love you, Father. And thank you, everybody, for watching my Chipotle Storytime Mukbang collaboration with Angelina Spice. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's your boy RDR, and like I always say, man, food is a gift, so please give thanks. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for Angelina Spice. And don't forget to hit that like button if you like this video. If you don't like this video, hit it with a thumbs down. No matter, I'm going to love you like I always have. It's your boy RDR, and I'm signing out. God bless y'all. Take care already. I love you guys, and I'll see you very, very soon. God bless.